in this video let us look into the fx overview there are different types of fx as a package located in the option bar they are drop shadow inner shadow outer glow inner glow bevel and emboss and satin effect so to know about this in detail let us get into the next slide the very first one is drop shadow drop shadow can apply to an object which will apply like a shadow behind the object the next one is inner shadow it also applies a shadow kind of a feature inside the object around the edges the next one is outer glow and inner glow which can be applied to the object and it emanates like a glow around the object if it is an outer glow around the object if it is an inner glow inside the object the next one is bevel and emboss bevel and emboss is used to apply a highlight appearance to an object and it can give a three dimensional appearance to the object the next one is satin satin effect creates a satiny effect inside the object the last one is feathering gradient feathering directional feathering can be applied to an object which can fade around it edges to to a transparency so let us see these things practically after knowing the fx overview let us see the fx practically so once if you select the object and on top you have got some default fx the very first thing is drop shadow by clicking on this automatically the drop shadow appears again clicking on it enabling and disabling will activate and deactivate the drop shadow effect again clicking on this fx icon you have drop shadow inner shadow outer glow inner glow and all so now if i click on drop shadow again it will open up a dialog box and which can be actually adjusted by its angle you can see the drop shadow angle is changed and uh, if you wanted to increase the x offset and y offset you can actually change it and even if you wanted to change the color of the shadow you can change the color but shadow will be generally black in color click ok if you wanted to increase the size or decrease the size that means the smoothness of the shadow can be changed and let's off it and see about the inner shadow so drop shadow as we have discussed it will fall behind the object and inner shadow will appear inside the object around the edges now you can see that it is coming around the edges so now if i increase the distance you can see that the shadow gets increased and option if i increase and it becomes smoother now after that just disable it or deactivate it clicking on outer glow select that you can increase the size of the outer glow but the outer glow is not visible because the outer glow by default it is in white color click on this one click on the color and click ok now you can see the outer glow similarly you can give inner glow as well clicking on the inner glow will activate inner glow and increase the size it will produce inner glow inside the object on and off will show you the difference and bevel and emboss clicking on this option you can see that it will create a three dimensional shape for the 2d object clicking on this you have the style where you need outer bevel or inner bevel or emboss kind of a thing anything according to your wish you can choose and you can choose the angle like i told you you can choose the highlights and you can change the highlights so wherever if i'm changing the highlights are also changing according to the angle those highlights are also called as shading and um, you can increase the size of this bevel it looks very much smoother and later we have satin effect clicking on this it will create a satiny feature increasing it you can see that the satiny feature appears and the angle can be given inside the object let us off this one and see basic feathering if i click on this basic feathering you can see that around the edges it becomes smoother and directional feather will apply the feather 
from one direction either from the top or let's say if you don't want from the top you can choose it from the bottom increase the amount so that it will apply in the bottom or if you want only in the left you can increase only in the left similarly in the right click on this yeah. of this again and we have a gradient feather like we have the gradient feather tool here we have the option uh, maybe if I wanted to choose it as a radial you can see the color is there inside or in the center of the object around the object it is transparent and you can change this beginning and ending points to adjust the color and feather of the gradient so this is how the effects can be used basically this basic feathering directional feathering gradient feathering will soften the edges by fading them to transparency just click cancel that's it about the effects in practicals